Wow. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Jokea Services here in Uganda. My name is Julius Ojula, Executive Director of Vienna Vision Schools and CEO of Vienna, uh, CEO Jokea Services. And I want to welcome you to Jokea Services. Please subscribe my channel. You will be able to get a lot. And today, I really want to share with you a few things. And those are only three, three things. And the most important of it is all about self-esteem. Guys outside there, I know we have so many people outside there. And a country like Uganda, we have uh, very many youths who are aged 18 to 30 years or 35 years. But please, this is the right time for you to work hard, for you to know yourself, for you to value yourself. And the most important thing is to know what we call self-esteem. Self-esteem is how you value yourself, how you think about yourself. Some people can think negatively about themselves, others can think positively about themselves. And what do you need to take? One, you must know where you need to take, the direction you're taking. Are you thinking negative about yourself or you're thinking positive about yourself? Don't wait people to talk about you. Sometimes people can talk negative about us, the youth, about you as a person, that you cannot do anything. That one is now a muyai. That one is now a son. He cannot do anything. But it's only you to tell yourself that I can do something. I can become this. Because you must know what you want, you must know where you're going, you must know where you're supposed to reach. And if you know all this, then you'll be able to become that important person in life. Now, there are three things that I need you to know. Maybe before we even talk these three things, you need to know we have, in self-esteem, there are two things. We have the high esteem, high self-esteem, then we have low self-esteem. High self-esteem, that is when you have the healthier esteem about yourself. You think positive about yourself. And here are the three steps to consider when you need to have the healthier or the high self-esteem about yourself or the positive attitudes about yourself. There are three steps to be considered. Step number one. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Please, take this serious. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Why? Because you're unique. God has created us in a unique way. Every individual, not even your brother, not even a twin sister or a twin brother, can compare him or herself with you because you have a unique thing in you. There are things that you can do and others cannot do. God has created us in a unique way. So please, make sure that you don't compare yourself with others. Tell yourself, I can do this. Because there are people who can say, ah, the other one went to the university, but he has done nothing. Today he can, he, he, he is not even, he's not even a well-known person. He's not even rich. I think there is no way I can even go to school. There is no way I can start this. Then there are people who will say, ah, for me, I cannot start this because Simon or the other person started the same thing and he failed. No. If that one failed, for you, think positive about yourself and say, I can do this. If you do that, you'll be able to become that great person you want in this world. Then the other one is to know your values. Please, know your values. You need to make a list of your values and you, from that list, list down the most important values, what you value most in yourself, what you value most. There are so many people who are visionaries. Someone says me, I'm a visionary and I want to create this. I want to start a school. If you tell yourself that thing that talks to you is the inner voice and that inner voice communicates to you now that vision it's only you who knows if an idea comes to you say i must do it and if you're doing it do it without getting things from other people because you're unique alone so please list your your values 
and start respecting your own values. Are you respecting your family? Is it the spiritual? Is it there are so many things. Are you educationist? Are you an entrepreneur? Please list your values. And you must